It did not begin with a light show or a roar from the heavens, but with something so quiet that even the cosmos appeared to be breathing slowly. A faint, nearly invisible flicker moved across the infinitely black canvas, a movement so delicate and mathematically deliberate that even the world's most advanced telescopes almost failed to mention it. Those who study the deep unknown often dream of such moments, the quiet births of impossible discoveries. And as this one unfolded, those watching could not have known they were seeing the start of something that might change everything humanity understands about life, space, and the silent intelligence that might dwell beyond it. Before we go further, ensure that you subscribe, you will not want to miss what comes next. Because what began as a whisper in the void would soon become the most unsettling revelation in modern astronomy. At first, they thought it was a comet, then an asteroid, possibly, or another relic drifting through the solar currents of a bygone era. But the more the object was studied, the more it, Atlas, also known as Three Eyes, refused to fit into any existing group. It was too symmetrical to be natural, too cold to be alive, and far too precise to be a mere accident of cosmic motion. Its surface glistened with an eerie calm, its trajectory smooth, as if guided by invisible fingers. Researchers recalled Oumuamua, that enigmatic interstellar visitor from earlier years, a shard of darkness that had darted through our system before disappearing, leaving only riddles in its wake. But 3 Eye Atlas was not just another stranger. It was larger, slower, and far too carefully planned. And now, under the unblinking eye of the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity finally recognized something it had never truly seen before. This was not a rock. This was not debris. Something about it felt, aware. When 3 Eye Atlas was first cataloged, its oddity could not be denied. Objects beyond our solar system usually burned through space on erratic, unpredictable paths before fleeing forever into the night. Whereas this one glided, it did not tumble or spin, it coasted. Its orbit wasn't wild or random. It was elegant, as if it knew exactly where and why to go. It curved past Jupiter with incredible accuracy, swung by Mars in perfect harmony with the physics of orbit, and drifted through gravitational corridors as though following a map older than the Sun itself. The more astronomers backtracked its origin, the more the impossible emerged. Its path through interstellar space wasn't just improbable, it was statistically impossible without guidance. Every gravitational hazard avoided, every radiation storm sidestepped. It was like watching a chess piece glide across a burning board, untouched, each move executed with intelligent grace. Someone, or something, was directing it. Then came the data from James Webb, data that silenced even the skeptics. Unlike any known comet or asteroid, Atlas III released a pulse of heat in a planned, rhythmic pattern. Not sporadic outbursts from ice melting or solar reaction, this was mechanical, timed. The telescope's spectroscopic readings revealed compounds that no one had ever seen before, materials with high reflectivity, formations with structured repetitions like armor or electronics. Deep within, there were hollow cavities and dense geometric arrangements that gave the impression of internal design. And most unnerving of all was the signal, a faint electromagnetic heartbeat repeating every 147 seconds matching a pulsar's rhythm. However, there was no core, no attraction, no fusion. It wasn't radiating energy, it was echoing it, mimicking it, expressing itself through imitation. When compared by researchers to previous data from Aumuamua, they shivered. The same frequency had been observed once, just before that earlier visitor disappeared into the night. But this time, it was louder. Apparently, Aumuamua had moved quickly, silently. It had no tail, no emission, no indication of propulsion. It had merely accelerated away, defying gravity itself. Scientists debated endlessly. Was it alien? Was it a chance event? The mystery dissolved only because the object was gone. However, 3 I Atlas brought that question screaming back, not through similarity, but by escalation. It was larger, steadier, and unmistakably intentional. If Amuamua was a scout, then this, this was something else. 
A second stage. A probe that didn't just observe, it engaged. For each telescope that watched it, it seemed to respond in kind, adjusting, compensating, learning. It was no longer a question of if it was aware. The real question, the one no one dared to say aloud, was, what comes after a probe? NASA said nothing concrete. Public statements were neutral, drowned in meticulous detail. Yet, behind closed doors, independent researchers whispered of data that was forbidden, data that hinted at design, awareness, purpose. A small European team, unbound by protocol, called 3i Atlas a consciousness engine. The concept spread in a level of secrecy humanity was never meant to hear. The internal organization of the object, mapped by Webb's deepest scans, revealed recursive fractal geometries, patterns identical to those found in neural tissue and advanced quantum processes. It appeared as if this object wasn't merely built. It was grown. A human-like machine in no way but a living system, a changing intelligence that moves and learns. Imagine a ship that thinks in chemical ratios that geometry dreams of. That evolves in silence as it crosses galaxies. What if it wasn't three diet laces traversing the universe but benefiting from it? Then, as scientists tried to predict its next position, it shifted. Without prior notice or justification, the object altered course. Telescopes in Hawaii and across Chile caught it, a subtle, impossible maneuver but decisive. It ignored gravity, defied solar influence, and realigned itself directly toward Earth's orbital plane. The room where the first data arrived fell silent. Analysts thought it was an error. But as the data repeated, the conclusion was undeniable. Atlas III had decided to change course. Everything tank was destroyed by that chosen word. Agencies and late-night meetings across the globe erupted. It was no longer behaving like an object. It was making decisions, and if it could decide, it could act. The pulse it emitted began changing too. Independent cryptologists investigating its signal found mathematical ratios hidden in the noise, sequences of Fibonacci numbers, prime structures, and golden spirals. The harmonics were not random occurrences. They were language, ratios that underlie DNA, the spiral arms of galaxies, even the proportions of ancient temples carved long before civilization as we know it comprehended mathematics. It was as though three atlas spoke in the fundamental terms utilized by the universe to construct itself. One researcher noted something terrifying, the signal pattern changed as soon as the James Webb telescope locked onto it in infrared, as if it were aware that it was being watched and answered in mathematics older than speech. Webb's next observations revealed complex carbon structures, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, the same molecules thought to exist before life. But these weren't chaotic mixes, they were refined, arranged, symmetrical, to perfect to happen by accident. Might it be that 3 Atlas was carrying the seeds of life itself? A vessel of creation instead of destruction. If that were the case, Earth was not a haphazard destination, it was its next host. The idea that this thing might not come to attack but to merge, seed, and rewrite its contents sent a chill through even the most rational minds. Then came something no one could overlook, a signal aimed not at us, but at the void. A deep, low-frequency broadcast directed outward, beyond the edge of our solar system. Analysts argued endlessly. Was it a call for reinforcements, or a report to something darkly waiting? Either way, one thing was certain. Three Atlas was not alone. Soon after, the Antarctic skies bore witness to an impossible event. High-altitude monitoring balloons detected a burst of microwave radiation directly above the South Pole. Although the burst lasted less than a second, it was powerful enough to disrupt nearby instruments. Hours later, seismic monitors across the continent began recording deep, rhythmic rumbles, frequencies identical to the object's pulse. Something beneath the ice was answering. Some believed it was coincidence. Others whispered of ancient mechanisms dormant for eons woken by a voice from the stars. 
when a young analyst overlaid the trajectory of three atlas with star maps dating back to the Babylonian era, something extraordinary appeared. Its path crossed sacred constellations, Orion, Draco, and the Pleiades in perfect sequence. Those intersections formed a spiral, the same spiral painted in caves, carved into bones, etched into the ruins of lost civilizations. It wasn't coincidence. It was choreography. Three Atlas was tracing a long-forgotten pattern, performing an encoded ritual written in the heavens. Was this a message of peace or a warning left for those who came after the last visitors? As global defense agencies scrambled, another hypothesis emerged, the lock and key theory. It seemed that Amuamua had been the lock, a still thing made to evaluate us, passive, harmless, just watching. And three Atlas was the key sent to open a package, maybe within our planet, maybe within us. Then the Earth's magnetosphere began flickering in unison with the signals from three Atlas, causing communication satellites to fail. For six minutes, even the Voyager probes, the oldest human messengers, responded with unexplained data bursts like memories rising during sleep.